This is my first ever paid mod and with no experience or little to no experience of reviewing, I just hope it's good man, I just hope it's damn good. Made by someone called RSS, I think you know them, Breast Sim Studios, right? Obviously you know them. <laughs> I'm sure you all know them, but it's my first time with their mods, you know, their paid version. I tried the uh, Formula 3 or something like that and th that was good. So I decided to give it a try. And when you pay for stuff, you know, we expect everything, the quality, the handling, ambient occlusion, lots. And I'm very happy to say that this F1 is better than the other licensed F1 and uh, and it So let's just start over. So before I speak anymore, let's have an onboard action. This is obviously uh, Mr. 44, you know who he is. Okay, Louis Hamilton on his Mercedes, the best ever F1 car in the Roman hills of Tuscany. Obviously, Mugello. So, let's get some things clear out first. Okay. I'm very bad at driving, and secondly, I'm very bad at setup. But we will talk about that later, and I will talk about that with the Aston Martin, the one that started the crash and started the vehicle. Anyways, the hood that you are seeing here is a lookalike of the same from the F1 2020, the official game, the other, the other F1 2020. Okay, and is made by R&D Random. Let's do one thing. I'll just keep a link in the description because I love this hood. This is so simple and displays everything that you need. No unnecessary information. No paid stuff. This is completely free. Just you need to enable it in the content manager. That's it. Meanwhile. They may be the best in handling cars, but if you misbehave with them, then this can happen. Best in the world, day, you don't give them the respect they deserve, they show you who you are. Anyways, there is a thing that I have discovered about these cars. Since Formula 1 cars have so hard suspension setup, they can really be very reactive to the track surface. So they are very sensible to the type of track that you are taking them on. Okay. They perform much better on tracks that are actually good and are well built. Take them on a bumpy track and driving them is a hell lot of problem. They spin out, they bottom out and everything. But on the other hand, you take them to a Kunos track like this one, Highland. Okay. Even after being a road track, which is obviously bumpy, they behave very well. I'm not saying that all mod tracks are bad, but the thing is that these cars are very very sensitive and very reactive and because they are built by RSS you know they emphasize a lot on quality feedback. I drive on a controller but I am sure if you drive on a steering wheel you will have a hard time with the force feedback because the feedback will be possible or I can assume because I have never driven. Anyways second thing is the lots. I have driven other formula 1 cars I don't want to take any names here and uh, when they are 3 or 4 it's fine. But when they are 22 to 24 and there is no lot, then my computer from RTX gets transformed to a GTX. So that thing, I, I was actually scared while buying this mod. Will it happen? Will it happen? Will my money get wasted? But that didn't happen. 20, 22 on the grid, absolutely beautiful. No hiccups, you know. Lots are amazing. I think there are four lots. So RSS again, you guys have done a tremendous work. and. That's all buddy, that's all. You deserve every penny for this one. Now, I'm not saying that these cars won't work well with mod tracks. You know, the track here is a mod track. Obviously, it didn't came with uh, the stock asset of Orsa and it's Suzuka in Japan. And I think it's a ACC conversion. So the quality of the tarmac, the bumps and the overall thing is absolutely top notch okay and at the end of the day one more blessing in disguise that comes with the track is a proper drs zone okay if they have that the track support that the cars beautifully they adapt to it and the dash what i was talking about that dash is also awesome. so yeah thing that i want to say is that it's more about the finishing of the track that matter matters the most cars are obviously good no wonder about that but with uh, with assist like uh, TCS and anti-lock brakes not there the 
finishing of the track will matter a lot. You can make a TGV Express, but if the track is not good, even the TGV will become Mail Express. Okay. Me, myself, and setups, we maintain social distancing from each other. Why? Because I know very little of them, and I don't want to tweak them. I just know the basic stuff, you know, like the tire pressure, the compound of the tire, the fuel load and a little bit of downness, uh, sorry, downforce, this and that, like the wing angle and all, and the wheelbase, slow wheelbase, uh, less wheelbase, better agility, long wheelbase, better stability. Apart from that, I don't know all these advanced things, you know, dampers and all, so I would suggest that you all have a look at the options that are, that are available with us, and this mod, trust me, I'm actually baffled with the number of sliders and buttons that RSS has actually provided with us. Just have a look. Yeah. Now I know that many people like me who prefer the noise of the engine over the noise of the music system. Sound uh, is a very important thing. You have a car like this, everything works. The sound is uh, rubbish and uh, that won't work well. The sound here is good. According to me, to a TV spectator, it's good. Sounds exactly like that. And uh, let me do one thing. Let me just shut up for some time and you guys just enjoy the same thing. Carry on. So one minute of pure engine noise. Go. Okay, enough of silence, um, I think we should start talking again. And now I want to talk, you know, specifically about car, I mean the mechanics. Now, this car I expect on the latest Formula 1 cars, obviously, rules and regulations. That is, they have a very standard V6 engine, which is connected to a thing called a turbocharger, which produces over 800 horsepower, basic, and which peaks at around at some 10 and 11,000 RPM. And then there is something called a hybrid system, an electric motor, which is limited to a roughly little 160 HP, which is controllable in this mode, okay, by these sliders and sensors. Therefore, the total power comes to almost around just 1000 horsepower, therefore, very slow and very steady. So, I hope you understand how basic these babies are. And yes, nothing special. This is basic Formula 1, you know, the best in the world, the best handling most part to it is uh, that's about it and uh, one more thing one more thing okay. liveries when you buy this car from rss the car doesn't obviously doesn't come with this livery no you can't sell paid mods with official stuff so yeah there is a livery creator that has actually this is been done by many people it's a community livery i'll give you the link in the description of the post in race department please download it please so in a world full of mods, you know, it takes some serious skills to be someone like RSS, Racing Trooper. The way they make their cars, the way people actually wait for their cars, even after being a paid mod, speaks volume of their quality. So let me make a confession before I conclude the video. I'm not that much of a fan of open wheel racing. I'm more into the underground type of cars and the exotic type of cars, but what RSS has done with their mod, you know, with the work, you know, I feel converted. Anyways, anyways, anyways. This is it. I think uh, that's all for the video. Drive safe but drive fast. ABG signing off and yeah. Bye now.